Well, 1221, if you owe taxes, there are some things that you can do to kind of cut your tax bill down a little bit just by adjusting your tax withholdings or even saving for education. So joining us now to kind of break down these steps, CPA Kimberly Washington. And Kim, when it comes to your paycheck here, what small little tweaks yeah. can you make to save yourself some money? All right. Some people don't realize you can make some small steps. And the first thing you want to do, of course, is head over to the IRS.gov website. You can actually enter your income and also your expenses, and it'll give you an idea exactly how much you should have taken out of your check. So that way, when you file your tax return, you're not paying Uncle Sam more than what you need to do. So you do need to head over to IRS.gov, use their pet check calculator, and it's a good tool and let your human resource department know if you need to change your taxes. Yeah, me and Uncle Sam have a friends for a yes while. Um, <laughs> also we know you know saving for retirement's a big thing something yes. that we all need to just get a jump on if you haven't right. done so already but what steps can you take to not only save but yes. also reduce your taxes in that effect right so keep in mind if you're working for someone 401k player first start there first <laughs> right but if you're not and you're self-employed you may want to look for an IRA and see even in case if you are working for someone you can also participate into an IRA which is an individual retirement account so keep in mind you have until the tax due date so you still can actually take that deduction right now if you need to do so of course saving for retirement also reducing your taxes and, and I understand so there are certain tax credits that can kind of yes. maybe reduce what you owe, but also um, boost your refund. How do yes. we know about those? Which ones do we apply for? Right, for 2021, that's a good bit of some new ones. So you definitely want to take advantage. Your first one's a recovery rebate tax credit. This is the case if you did not receive your stimulus payment. Another one, of course, is the earned income tax credit. Many people know about this one, but this year it's a little bit different. It has increased. And last but certainly not least is a child tax credit. Take advantage of these different tax credits because, of course, it can actually boost your tax refund by thousands of dollars this year. Speaking of our children, uh, yeah. for those of us with dependents, maybe they're in school specifically, yes. uh, what do we need to know? Take advantage of those different deductions. So the first thing you want to look into is called American Opportunity Tax Credit. So if you have a child that's in college, you can take this credit for the first four years for this child. Another thing you want to consider is the Lifetime Learning Tax Credit. This is a big deal. So even after the first four years, you can take advantage of this tax credit. Another thing keep in mind, you want to utilize the 529 plans. That's a really big tool, a very helpful because they'll actually match some of the money that you put into it. So this is with the state. So you don't get a federal tax benefit, but you do get a state tax deduction. So it's a good tool to use. Yeah, my kids have one of those. Yes. And it's always smart to, to start early. You can yes. actually use that for college or that's for, right. for high school. Yeah, so, so Brandy know. knows, right? <laughs> she <laughs> knows, that's correct. Every penny counts. <laughs> yes, it these does. Days. All right, Kimberly Washington, thank, thank you, you so much, much so much thank for uh, all of your insight. Yeah. Also new today, the next leader 